We are back with some really exciting news for young bookworms and their parents. Yeah, it's really exciting. The Week Junior Magazine is kicking off its Summer of Reading program, and they're doing it with its list of 50 recommended books, all chosen based on picks from kids. So joining us this morning to share what books kids are loving is executive editor of The Week Junior magazine, Mindy Berry Walker. Mindy, nice to see you. Oh, thank Hello, you, Fred. It's great to be here. This is so exciting. So what was the impetus for this? Well, we know kids love to read books that other kids enjoy reading. And so for our summer reading program this year, we did something a little different. We went to kids across the country in different classrooms and asked them for their favorite picks. Ah. We tallied up the votes mm -hmm. and we created our 50 books kids love most lists. That's terrific. So uh, one of Craig's favorites, uh, yeah. Yell is reading. Yeah. Tell us he about loves it. for kids who are the, the detective in them. The detectives. Okay, this is our mysteries group. We have a lot of different books in our genre, and these two picks are particularly fun. The Bad Guys, this is a um, graphic novel, which right. means it has illustrations with the pictures, and you have some bad guys who, maybe they're not bad guys, because mm -hmm. they're also solving crimes, so that's pretty fun for kids. It's also a great movie out right now. Right. But then we also have the Mysterious Benedict Society. This is a classic book, but it's really just yeah. as popular as it was as it was then. Um, one of our kids said it's full of action, mystery, and a surprise ending. Oh, love that. All right. <laughs> yeah. I love this. You want to know what kids like? Ask kids. That's How right. How about that? So yes. explore a magical world. I know fantasy books right now and with everything going on in the world are having a moment, so that makes sense. They absolutely are. There are so many good fantasy books out there for children right now. And so, in fact, our readers said that this genre was their number one favorite. So it was really fun to see what they had to say. The first book we have here is Amari and the Knight Brothers. Amari is trying to find her missing brother, and she contacts the Bureau of Supernatural Affairs. She encounters yetis, dwarves, witches, and mermaids. So this is a terrific fantasy book. The sequel is coming out later this year, so it's been a breakout hit. We also have Wings of Fire. Wings of Fire is a huge hit. One of the reasons why is there are 15 books in this series. Wow. Kids, wow. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Kids told us they love that because they know what they're going to read next. They don't have to think about, oh, what am I going to read next. These dragons have very human-like qualities. One of our readers said that she loved it. She understood the struggles they were going through, which I think is pretty cool because they're dragons and we're humans. All right, so from fantasy to laughing, laugh. we all love to laugh. So exactly. tell us what is making everyone laugh so hard they cry. That's right. So what these books do is they're really funny, and so that's great for a kid who's maybe a little unsure about reading. This is a great place to start. Um, we have the first cat in space ate pizza. <laughs> this cat has a huge challenge. They're going into space to take care of these rats from another galaxy who are trying to eat the moon. Wow. I know. That's How is that? It has really bold um, illustrations, so it's great for like younger readers mm -hmm. or older readers who just want to kick back and relax. So some, you know, uh, graphic novels have more words. This is really very illustrated and, and really fun. The graphic novel genre has really exploded for kids. It has. In fact, we don't have a graphic novel section anymore because there are graphic novels in historical fiction, realistic fiction, nonfiction. That's a You'll good find sign. it in every, yeah. in every That's genre. A good sign. It is. It's fit. Very high quality. Come on down here. Let's talk about cheering on a character and highlight these these two books. So these two books are both What's graphic novels. What's an Apple TV series, right? That's right. El Defo came out this year. It was okay. huge. Um, what people love about El Defo, what the kids loved about it, is that it's based on the author's real life experience of wearing a hearing aid. And it's but it's she's wanting to find friends. Is she going to find friends? And how does that hearing aid play a role? Oh wow! So that was it's a really fun book. And the new kid um, is about a boy named Jordan, who's one of the few kids of color in his classroom mm -hmm. in the school. And so he's trying to figure out how he's going to fit in. It's the only graphic novel to have won a Newbery uh, medal, so oh, it's wow. pretty terrific. Um, and I think overall for this theme, what you really see is that, you know, teaching kids that are, they're learning on their own, that it's, you know, your differences that are your superpower. The 50 books that you guys are highlighting, all, all ages or a certain age range? I'd say we're really 8 to 14, okay. so mm -hmm. we're looking at that okay. middle grade, and we don't, we don't separate it out by grade because all kids read at different levels, sure. and just because it's age appropriate for one level doesn't mean another kid's not going to enjoy great. it. Mindy, I hope you come back because Craig needs some more Thank books. Thank you. Yes, it was great to be here. Uh, the Keep Week reading. Junior's we Summer Reading List available now, and we're also going to get into the Summer of Reading Fun. We're sharing our recommendations for kids' books that we love as well. Check out our picks in upcoming issues of The Week Junior Magazine and look out for that. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.